Hello everyone, this is Nicole from Right at Home, and today I am participating in the 2018 Stamping for Autism Awareness blog hop hosted by Veronica and Tania. I am excited to be joining in on today's celebration, and let me show you what I created. So here I have some watercolor paper that I am treating with my anti-static powder tool because I'm going to be white heat embossing it with my grid background stamp. So here I'm just inking up my stamp with some Versamark ink and then placing my watercolor paper on top and running my fingers over it to transfer that ink. Over top I'm going to sprinkle some white embossing powder and then heat that until it's melted. To add some color to my background, I'm going to do the ink smushing technique. So here I'm just spritzing my paper with a little bit of water out of a Mr. Bottle. And then onto a piece of acetate, I've smushed some Rockin' Red ink from Catherine Pooler. And I'm flipping that over and pressing it onto the watercolor paper to transfer that color. And you'll be able to see the grid pattern resist that color that we're placing over top. So I'm going to do a rainbow scheme of colors but I wanted to start with the three primary colors of red, yellow, and blue so that I made sure to not get um, any brown areas on my piece. Once I have the three primary colors transferred onto the paper I can move on to adding some secondary colors in the areas where they overlap. So here I'm adding just a darker yellow and then I'm going to add some green here and then I will finish off with the purple. If there's any areas where you get ink that you want to remove, you can just spritz it with some water out of your water bottle and then pick it up with a towel and just go over it with some more of the color that you want. Once I've added all my color, I can set that aside to dry and move on to my sentiment circle. I have a circle die cut here cut from my Sweet Stitches die set and I'm going to use my Color and Sentiments stamp set, um, one of the greetings from there, and stamp that onto the center of the circle with a waterproof ink. This one by Katherine Pooler is good for both watercoloring and Copic markers if you want to do that instead. Now I'm going to um, use the same colors of ink onto my little acetate piece and use them to color in the smile part of the sentiment. So this greeting reads, you make me smile when skies are gray. And I thought that that matched the background with all the rainbow colors perfectly. And I'm going to mimic the background with um, the rainbow colors onto this sentiment. So I'm going to start with the red, blend into the orange, and then the yellow, and continue on from there. Next I'm going to move on to some flower die cuts that are just cut out of some white cardstock. And in the center I'm going to add some of the same colors that I've been using for the rest of my card project. And I'm going to flick it on just to add some color but um, just kind of give it a whimsical abstract type look. So I'm using Aqua Teeny Pixie Dust and then for the leaves I'm going to use Lime Ricky. And the sentiment circle is also cut out of just plain white cardstock. You just want to be careful when you're using a water brush to not add too much water or the ink will bleed. 
but otherwise you can do it on just plain white cardstock if it's thick enough. And on this flower I am doing rock and red again. And for the center of the circles I'm going to go back in with that darker yellow color. Now I can move on to assembling my card. On the back of the circle sentiment panel I'm just adding some foam tape and I'm going to adhere that in the center. And then around that I'm going to add my flowers and I'm going to add just a little bit of dimension to them by popping up the circle center for them. And then I'm also going to pop those up from the background itself. And here I wanted to be sure to add the flowers in areas where the color underneath wasn't the same as what was painted in the center. So I put the blue one in the bottom corner where it's red, etc. And then around it, I'm just adding my leaves with some liquid glue. Then I can glue this entire panel onto an A2 size card base and my card is finished. If you want more information about how you can participate in today's hop, make sure to head over to my blog which is linked in the video description below. My friend Holly is also participating with me for Right at Home, so make sure to head over to the blog for a link over to her project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!